friends, Asia most peaceful, stable geography in this globe is undergoing a rare tension after many years of peace and tranquility existing here since maybe World War and then the Vietnam War. Why? Last week, world saw Easter holidays and as the spirit lingers on, the aircraft carrier WSS Carl Vinson, a strike group, is heading back to the waters east of Korean Peninsula after completing a port visit to Singapore. What does it mean? The carrier and the three other ships will head there as tensions remain high above the North Korean region following the missile test and possibly a secret underground nuclear test also. American Vice President Pence, Mike Pence started across the demilitarized border between North and South Korea. He was seen having a stare at the North Korean region and there were some photographers taking pictures from North Korean region also. A day after North Korea's failed missile launch retaliating or retaliating that the US era of strategic patience with North Korea was over was the words hinted by the American leaders including President Trump. Vice President Pence himself had pointed out we are doing strikes in Syria, Afghan, we will show the same resolve. That is how the President Trump wants to pass on a message to this region, especially North Korea. The strike group, way it moved in on April 4th to Singapore after completing a two week stay in the waters of Korean Peninsula. It participated in an annual Foil Eagle military exercises along with South Korea. Well, last month China called on both North Korea and the US to ease tension on the Korean Peninsula. Well, North Korean capital was abuzz with lot of activities. There was this missile exhibition, a parade of missiles. Well, what is happening there? Well, we all know the escalating tension following the North Korean leaders approach towards militarization and going all out to make a yeah, nitrogen bomb, hydrogen bomb and what not. Why this tension? Why does North Korea want to be a military power? Well, it all dates back to June 25th, 1950. The Korean War began at that time with about 75,000 soldiers from the North Korea. They poured along the 38th parallel, that is the boundary between the Soviet backed People's Republic of Korea, that is the North Korea and the existing Seoul, head, uh, uh, Seoul headquartered South Korea. Well, the uh, Vietnam War began as a civil conflict between North Vietnam and South Vietnam, likewise North Korea and South Korea. North Korea of course is very near to Chinese borders and all these countries, the China, the North Korea, South Korea, the North Vietnam, South Vietnam have this thread of communism. Well, Americans would like to join their might or force or business links or trade or whatever with non-communist government. So, 
the South Vietnam, the South Korea were all in their purview maybe to make them become non-communist in those days in the world war period. Well, so much activity, so much military movement is all there all around us, India. Indian Peninsula is not isolated from whatever the American think tanks believe to be their next course of action, be it Afghan, be it now all along our borders in the west of our country. Well, last month, in the end of last month, we saw the Tibetan spiritual leader Dalai Lama making 10 days visit to India. He had come to Tawang in Arunachal Pradesh, but it kicked the furious diplomatic row by none other than China. The protests from Beijing, were they really warranted? Well, the religious leader Dalai Lama's visit is for the sixth time to that town, a holy province called Tawang. Well, Dalai Lama's visit is actually an internal matter of India. And China's outrage in this regard shows the big brother, big brother attitude they have towards our northeastern region. Why should China stop some leader coming to our northeast? Well, if China really, really thinks we need to have a cordial relationship between India and China so that the diplomatic ties and trade links will continue and peace prevail, well, this is not the attitude to take. Stopping a high-end priest or a diplomat coming to our country is our internal matter. Well, likewise, North Korea. Friends, North Korea is very near to China, very, very near to China. Their borders really not far away as much as our own northeast border to Hunan province in China. It's about maybe 400, 500 kilometers. So the tension in the southern tip of China and China's west tip with India, it's all getting into a crisscross and the end this entire process as the pot boils for war. It looks like a calm, a very strange calm before the storm in this Asian region. Well, now the big question is, what is North Korea's calculus? What is it they want? Well, analysts believe they have one specific goal, a program powerful enough to survive a all-out war against the big brother, U.S. of A. Well, far more powerful states like Russia, China, they have dedicated, they have spent billions and billions of dollars and they have done so much research and they have so much strategy and they have so much attempts to near that goal of really fighting a war and winning against America. Well, as we are in the 21st century, as we are in a communication revolution, as we are going towards uh, new frontiers in technology, South Korea has a big role to play. China has got a big role to play. Even Japan has got a big role to play. And if these small, small countries in this Asian region undergo turbulent times, like what we are seeing, well, it will not only affect the peace in and around India, but a major portion of this globe will be in pot boil of so many war situation. Maybe is that what America wants? One wonders. 
Thank you.